Oh my gosh, did my neighbor die? What does a dead body smell like? Hi guys, it's Adria. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, hold up, I need a drink. The power of movie magic. This is actually just organic sparkling rose lemonade, non-alcoholic. It's just yummy. It's story time, grab a beverage. So if you have been with me for a while now, maybe you saw my other neighbor story time videos. This was a little bit of a series. When I first moved in here, I had a bad experience with my downstairs neighbor. So uh, we have some updates since my last one. I even recently did a get ready with me where I talked about her a little bit, but I didn't even scratch the surface of recent events. So warm up some tea, bitch. Get ready, subscribe. I post new videos twice a week. Become a member of the Panda Fam. If you guys want more story time related content, definitely let me know down below. This used to be my bread and butter. So I get a lot of comments, people being like, has anything else happened with your neighbor? You good, sis? I mean, Brandon was like, why don't we just move? <laughs> Brandon really doesn't care. But I'm like, let's focus on our wedding first since that's in the near future. We're kind of just, we're dealing with it right now. Something really unsettling, and I don't know how y'all would feel about this. I would love to hear your opinions on this, but every single day I hear her screaming, like screaming, not like she's a vlogger, screaming at the top of her lungs. There was a day I almost called for a wellness check. Really the only place I can hear her is if I go down by my front door because that's where our walls connect because otherwise I'm above her. I think she's just yelling at telemarketers, which is hilarious. Just picture this elderly woman yelling at the top of her lungs on the phone with the telemarketer. That's basically what I have to hear every single day. It's annoying and it's unsettling. Like Brian and I will just be sitting there chilling and then all of a sudden we'll just hear a scream out of nowhere. I don't know about you, I never heard any of my other neighbors. Occasionally. Remember I had like that drug dealer neighbor? I would gladly take her back. Imagine being the neighbor that only hears nothing. Oh my gosh, I remember in my story time when she's like, the walls are paper thin here. See, the walls are paper thin here. The walls, yeah, they are gonna be paper thin when you're screaming at the top of your lungs. This is just kind of nitpicky and I know this is gonna sound like first world problems. We're getting there. We're starting with the little stuff and we're working our way up because I like to build some context so you guys can really feel how annoyed I truly get at this woman. Sometimes her cooking will actually make us leave our apartment. I do not know what she is cooking. If it's anything other than human poop, it smells awful. Like you're cooking rotten meat, it literally just smells like she lit a cat box on fire. She opened our mail. Okay, if you haven't seen the other story times, it's been a little while, just a refresher. She came to the door, accused me of spying on her, opened our mail that same day, Okay, so I hate her cooking, period. <laughs> so, <laughs> this, okay, I need to just tell y'all this because this happened recently. I had a nightmare about her where I woke up sweating at four in the morning, which this is kind of dramatic. I'm so sorry. Excuse me. In my dream, our apartments were laid out like front to back. So ours was in the front and hers was behind us. And it was so gross because we shared a wall that had a door and two windows on it. Like think about how nasty that would be. That would never exist. Okay, I had like my family over I think and we were all just kind of hanging out and she was being so creepy and gross and like left the door open and was basically just trying to listen to us which I think is like my subconscious being like I feel like she's constantly just trying to like eavesdrop on us. Went through our mail and all that so I think that my brain is like yeah she's nosy. Anyway, uh, <laughs> later in the dream we were watching TV and the door was open still and the blinds to the windows were open, which already in everyday life, I hate when blinds are open at night. It grosses me out. I don't know about you guys, but it makes me feel like somebody is just gonna like peek in my window. So uh, <laughs> I was like telling Brandon, like, can you go close the blinds and close the door? And he's like, no, I'm not going over there. Fine, I'll go do it. So I like crawled on the floor so that no one could see me. Close the door and I lock it. And then I go to the blinds and I'm twisting them and I close them. I'm by the blinds where she is sitting right in front of them, right? <sighs> I think this is also my subconscious because sometimes when we come home, her blinds are open and we can just see her in there and she's like looking at us. It's so creepy. I know in dream form, this sounds so dumb to be creepy, but I've, I've seen it in real life. So I close the blinds and then through the little slits, I see her wake up and look at the window. And I'm like, oh my God. 
I quickly run back over to the couch. This was very clearly a dream because Brian and I had a couch. Definitely fiction. And I'm like, pretend to be asleep. So we're like all like asleep on the couch. She comes bursting in the door, screaming. I'm like, GTFO, GTFO, not even listening to what she's saying, which is probably exactly what I would do in real life. My warped mind is like, um, where's the gun? Then I woke up. What a great dream. So yeah, then I woke up sweating at four in the morning. Here is the big kicker of the video. And this is where I know you guys are probably gonna think that I am so delusional and I don't even really care. Okay, you can hate on me for this all you want. Judge my judgment. But sometimes you just go through it and you live and you learn and it's fine. <laughs> Okay, this was back in the summertime, so a good half a year ago now. I was home alone. Brandon was out of town working at his uh, cremation job. Cremation. So keep in mind that my life really centered around um, death at the time. So I had been out all afternoon. I got home later than I normally do. It was like around 8.30. I walked in the front door and it was almost like before I even opened the door, a smell just hit me in the face. It was like rotten eggs and garbage. It did not smell edible in the least. It actually made me quickly cover my nose, like a reflex. Walking through my apartment, like why does it smell like death in here. So I'm trying to just ignore it and like, you know, get ready for bed and go about my life and not really pay attention to it. But you know something's bad when you're constantly covering your nose. Then my mind starts really thinking like, wait a minute, my neighbor is elderly. It is summertime, so it is hot. And I have not seen her in at least five days, like leave her house. Oh my gosh, did my neighbor die? This Will this get demonetized? Probably. <laughs> I immediately start panicking. I'm like just trying to breathe. It smells like rotten eggs, so I'm like freaking out. Not to mention it was getting late. Nobody would be cooking this late, especially old people. Old people eat dinner at like 3 p.m. when it wasn't going away, when it was like rolling around 10 o'clock and you know, so on. <sighs> so I start Googling like, what does a dead body smell like? Which is so great. Like my Google search just, I wouldn't even be able to explain it. When things were lining up on that list, I was like, oh my gosh. So. I called Brandon. I'm like, I'm trying not to freak out, but I really seriously think our neighbor died. And he's like, what? And I'm like, is that what a, a dead person smell? Like, is that what that smells like? I don't know. I just wish he would have been there because he literally could have just confirmed or denied that that's what a deceased body would smell like. So I'm like texting every person I know. I'm there alone, first of all, which makes it way creepier. You know, my mom texted me like, call the police. Like if you really think that she is dead, my head's spinning because I'm like, okay, say I call the police and she's not dead. I'm literally gonna scare an old lady at like 10 o'clock at night, which even though she was rude to me, I don't really feel good about doing that. So I'm like, okay, if when I wake up, I, still smell it and or I do not hear her TV or hear her screaming like I usually do or anything, then I'm calling the police because I didn't even hear anything coming from her place. Like, you know, I said I normally hear her scream at the top of her lungs every day. Like it was silent and I didn't even hear her TV like I normally can. And I was freaking out. I actually had to sleep with my nose in my blanket because the smell was just unbearable and I'm totally not even being dramatic about it like it it was enough to make somebody sick like luckily I don't have a super weak stomach but I feel like the wrong person would have been like retching foul it was disgusting so the next morning I wake up the smell was still there <laughs> it was a bit more faint am I just used to the smell at this point I don't know I was still a bit like <sighs> I go down my stairs I press my ear to the wall I was like desperate and I heard her TV Thank you, Jesus. Can you imagine? Oh my gosh. If she was 30 years younger, I probably wouldn't have thought twice about it. But I think it's just like when it's an elderly person, you're like, are they alive? <laughs> are you dead? Even when my Nana falls asleep, I'm like, she breathing? 
Thankfully, I didn't have to have Brandon take her to get cremated. <laughs> I don't even know if I ever told you guys this, but this was back sort of around when we moved in. She tried so hard to get our phone numbers. Like she left us her phone number in a magazine. She's like, oh, I want to get you a potted plant. Under normal circumstances, I'd be like, cool, sweet, you're nice. Uh, let's build a bridge together. But like, no. Am I an antisocial mess? Yes. Yes, but if somebody wants to actually be my friend, has a healthy boundary and doesn't accuse me of shit, like, yeah, I'll give you my number. Yeah, I'll be your friend. Like, I'll bake you cookies. Like, I don't care. No. So one day I went outside and there was a magazine flipped open on top of my trash can. If one more creepy thing happens here, I swear y'all, I instantly thought it was her. I looked down at it and it's like this picture of this bridge. And my first thought is like, you know, she's asked us when we're getting married. So my first instinct is like, is this a wedding thing? Is this like, I don't know what this is. I felt creeped out. I know it sounds crazy to even think like most people would just see a magazine on top of their trash and not even care. It was like flipped open to a page, plopped on my trash can. briefly skim over this if you want to watch me go in more depth about this I just recently did a video where I talked about my neighbor being crazy TM so I will link that up in the cards if you want to go watch that after this but basically we were having problems with the water and she told Brandon that I was banging on the pipes to get water can y'all just see me there like can you just see it and you know what's crazy? She didn't even have the audacity to say it to me. I was leaving the house with Brandon and he came back without me. And she couldn't have said it when we were leaving. No, she waited till he came back and was by himself. This girl really just doesn't like me. I will not bother you. I will leave you alone, but like, I am not gonna be your friend. I'm putting my foot down. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm going off. I'm sorry, this is a rant. <laughs> So something else weird that happened recently was not too long ago, Brandon came home for lunch and she stopped him outside and was like, oh, they accidentally delivered this package to my door by mistake. And he's like, okay, but here's the thing. I bet you already know what was wrong with the package. If you guessed it was already opened, you are correct. You wanna know what she said about it? It came this way. <laughs> right, because Amazon really just delivers open packages. They're a multi-billion dollar company because they just deliver opened packages. <laughs> just be like, I opened it on accident. I thought it was mine. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Or like tape it back up. Like what the freaking... What is wrong with you? What? What is wrong? Oh. What is wrong with this woman? I just wonder, did the package accidentally get delivered there? I mean, I guess it's possible people make mistakes. It's fine. But anyway, uh, Betsy, you're nuts. But thanks for the content, Betsy, because without you, I would have way less views right now. So for that, I have to thank her. I mean, it was only vitamins, but still, I mean, Brandon and I have talked about ordering something like a, <clears throat> a little naughty and having it delivered to her house just to be funny. I <laughs> I'll do it. Imagine just trying to be Adrian and Brandon and just like live on your own and be adults. The funny thing is, is that we don't bother anybody. What is the most like harmless animal? I was gonna say ants, but they eat your food. And then more recently, we're just walking, we have groceries, we're going to our door, and then all of a sudden, her window is like right there, she bangs as loud as she can and is screaming. And it sounds like she went, Brandon! And we're just like, are you obsessed with my man? Because we can gladly take this outside. Square up. Uh, I'm not even kidding. She sounded like 6 9. <laughs> Nonsense. Like, you don't even know what she's saying. And Vern and I went inside. We laughed so hard. <laughs> what was that? If you wanted to say something, she could have opened the window, opened her front door, and said something. But, like, imagine yelling through your window at somebody. <laughs> In conclusion, she's just a little bit nuts. And I don't want people to come at me being like, she's old, like whatever. I get it. I've gone through the mental. And I'm always paranoid when I hear stuff moving that she's in here. She's on a walker and I'm upstairs. 
That's the only thing that helps me sleep at night anyway. But how are you? <laughs> have you ever had a crazy neighbor that just won't seem to let you have a moment's peace? Because same, that's about where I'm at. I will definitely let you know if anything else happens. I mean, I don't even know what I'm gonna call this. I thought my neighbor died. <laughs> I really just want to be like, peaceful coexisting neighbors and that's really it you know if she has mental health issues god bless but i mean like i've said before when your mental health issues affect especially your neighbors people you don't even know like that's just 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 a little concerning so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this little story time today if you did don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe down below i post new videos twice every week if you haven't seen my latest videos here's a playlist for catch up on my latest videos if you'd like to i definitely want to do a story time about like people with weird fetishes that don't leave me alone <laughs> I'm a mess. But uh, yeah, I will see you guys again real soon. Until then, panda hugs. Love you guys. Be safe. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye. <laughs> if you got it, flaunt it. Oh gosh. When did I get boobs, you guys? I don't know, but I don't really care. What? Ow. Nothing's forever. Everything changes. It's fine. Just anxiety mantras. No.